As a kid, I loved watching my older brothers play an RPG shooter game Borderlands. I decided, now that I'm older, I would find the copy of the game. So I went out with my dad yard garage sale hopping. Soon we arrived at a yard sale with what looked like their entire house outside. Getting out of the truck, I started searching. And lo and behold, I found an Xbox 360 with a box full of games. Slowly searching through the games, I saw Minecraft, GTA, Call of Duty, Skyrim, Halo, horror games, and so on. At the bottom of the games was Borderlands. Of course I couldn't believe it, and saw that it had the disc in it. My dad asked how much for the Xbox, and didn't even notice I had found the game. The man said two dollars shakingly. I held up the game and asked, Excuse me sir, how much is Borderlands? He quickly started it's free. He smiled kindly at me. I figured he had schizophrenia and didn't bother asking why he seemed scared. As soon as we got home, it was starting to get late. Around 5pm to 6pm, I ran into my room and hooked up the new Xbox. Hey sis, can I have the hard drive from our Xbox? Whatever, just don't break it, she says as she left with her friend. Plugging in the hard drive and turning on the Xbox startled me. The avatars that were saved on the Xbox had a gruesome feel, and the name started with Rip. I ignored it, remembering the horror games I had seen in the box earlier. The game started like any other, and everything seemed normal. I got to choose out of the four characters and chose Lilith. One of my brothers watched me play for a bit and gave me pointers, but he pointed at the sign in the game and said he had never seen that in the game never seen in the game, but he played through it three times. That confused me, so I took a closer look at the sign. The sign consisted of the borderlands, the vault symbol with the words, The vault is the key, written sloppily in blood. I shrugged it off as the game developers must have added that to say the importance of the vault even more. The NPCs in the game had whited out eyes. All of them did. Even the claptraps had whited out lenses. Well, this is strange. I was pretty sure I was seeing things, or the Xbox was glitchy. But why only the eyes? I beat the game like normal, seeing the same sign from the beginning of the game hidden around the world. After defeating the final boss, and the cutscene had ended, a very bloody and graphic sign filled the screen. The same from earlier. The vault is the key. Why does this stupid sign pop up again? I had beaten the game, so this doesn't make any sense. It wouldn't let me close the sign from my view or let my characters move. So I reloaded the game. 3 a.m.? Man, I stayed up late playing the game. I suddenly got the feeling I was being watched. Looking around my room, everything was normal. Blinds closed, lights off, door closed. My gamer tag had changed. Now I began with Ready to Play. Ready to Play? How did my gamer tag change? I reloaded the game, only to be instantly at the new U station menu. Strange, I thought. Scanning down the list, I saw the DLC areas you can teleport to. Jacob's Cave, the Underdome, T-Bone Junction, Tartarus Station, and Fear Forest. Wait, Fear Forest? I had looked up the DLC names prior to getting the game by a week. And there's no mention of a Fear Forest. Maybe the week he had deleted it, I thought. But why a forest? Wasn't Pandora a wasteland? I became curious. Fear was in all caps. Maybe it was a hacked place by a previous owner. I had to find out. Selecting the fear forest, instantly I could tell something wasn't right. The more angelic colors of teleporting had turned hellish. As Lilith appeared, you instantly got a third-person view of Lilith. You never got a third-person view of your character. This was insane. The sky was a dark red. The ground, a sloshy mix of red mud and water. With the cheese, signed black with decaying. Little or no leaves. But that wasn't it. Lilith was looking at me and had a look of fear on her face utter terror. The comic style feel was gone as all of the outlines were gone and the game had 
very realistic graphics. Crude and gruesome versions of the other characters, Mordecai, Roland, and Brick, landed behind Lilith. And then the words, RUN, appeared on the screen, written in blood. As their bodies got dragged into the darkness behind Lilith, I made her run. But I couldn't change the camera view. Always looking behind her. Always a look of terror. Always being watched. Being chased. Out of the showers, lured a crooked, misshapen figure. I would have said it looked like it was a scary story, but it was all too real. The figure looked like Mordecai, cursed and mixed with features of the destroyer, the final boss. Suddenly, Lilith stopped on her own and began to shoot at her cursed friend, who was already falling to bits. I watched in horror, not sure if to look away or not, but I wanted to see what happened. What would happen? The vault is the key! Mordecai bellowed with. Such a twisted voice did ring in my ears. It didn't sound like it was coming from my TV anymore. It sounded like it was coming from behind me. Looking behind me, there was nothing. Just the normal darkness of my room. I glanced back at the TV. Lilith was being brutally murdered. The realism made me sick. I tried turning off the Xbox, but it wouldn't let me. I tried pausing the game. It wouldn't let me. I tried, let, I tried running, but it wouldn't let me. Mordecai looked at me through the screen. He knew I was watching. And then he said, You're next! In the creepiest and twisted voice you can imagine. I spammed the turn off switch as he went closer to the screen while ripping off Lilith's head. The Xbox didn't turn off, but the game did. The screen up now was the avatar select screen. My avatar had changed. It looked just as gruesome and horrific as the others. My game attack changed again and now began with your next. And that's when I noticed something else. The two avatars from the Xbox that my dad had bought with the game looked like Roland and Brick. And my avatar had turned and looked like Lilith. I wish this was a cruel joke. I wish I turned everything off and decided to go to bed. A nightmare arouses me. I was in the same horrific forest as Fear Forest from the DLC. I was physically watching Mordecai kill Lilith. Welcome, Linda! Mordecai bellowed. That was my gamer tag. I was unable to move and speak. He inched closer. Ever slowly until a pain in my chest woke me up. I sat up quickly as I woke up. I was ready to scream. Blood tricked from my mark on my chest. I went to the bathroom and looked in the mirror. The vault is the key to fear. It was carved into my chest, along with the vault symbol. Quickly, I got rid of the Xbox and game. I erased my avatar from my hard drive. The man who gave us these items had all the right reasons to be terrified and shaky. Days later, everything had calmed down until the man who sold us the Xbox appeared on the news, murdered and in a forest. He was decapitated with the same thing I had on the, my chest. Mordecai, the hunter, well, not the cursed hunter, was doing his job, hunting all who saw him. I fear I am next. I can only hope I am safe. But hoping isn't enough.